All right, Lake, let's go. Are you ready, Alex? Yes. Yes! Then follow me! Where are we going, Lake? The place where it all began, Alex. The place where you took the first step on your quest. And the white dragon is going to take us there. Huh? Let's go! Here we are in front of Dine's grave. What? Where are we? Dine's monument? Lake? Did I do that? How did we get here? What's going on, old man? Hmm. Perhaps I should have told you this sooner. But at least I'm telling you now about what happened 15 years ago. What happened on the day Dragon Master died? Ooh, we get the proof. We finally get to know what actually happened 15 years ago. Step aside, Dain. I have no more to say to one who will not listen to the voice of reason. However, perhaps it is not too late to return Althena to some semblance of sanity. Don't you understand? If she carries out her plan, the world will, shall perish. Galleon. This is a travesty, Dine. A crime against her progeny. Scattering her powers into the world to be reborn as a human? And you willing to throw away your power as well? Willing to join her in this madness? Why, Dine? Why do you continue to travel this selfish path? You're wrong, Galleon. Though she shall cease to exist as a goddess, Althena shall never pass from the world, and she will live on in the heart and soul of every human. She will smile each time two people fall in love. Nonsense, Dine. That is nothing but a deceptive stream of deadly romantic rhetoric. This world needs the power of Althena. This, she's all that holds the world from chaos. Dine, turn back! Wow, that, that text goes by really fast. Well, the goddess used to, uh, didn't wear a whole lot when she was in that form either. So, Dragon Master Dine threw away his powers as a Dragon Master. And that's why... And he separated her will into what it is into all around the world. Huh. Interesting. So that's what Dragon Master Dine looked like. All that ye all those 15 years ago. What's going on? No, I see what he's about to do. Wait, Dine, stop! Stop before the path you have chosen strips you of the very power that safeguards your soul. Dine, no! So that. Dying gave up. So Dain decided to go for socialism, spreading the Althena's power to all, and not one for himself. <laughs> hmm. I see only despair. It looks like Galleon didn't agree with that decision. I guess he didn't agree with it so strongly that he decided to try to make it force it.
interesting. So that's what really happened back then. Despite her pure intentions, Althena's presence was causing more harm than good. And her many children were becoming ever more dependent upon her. Instead of working together to improve the world they shared as she had always wanted. They jealously competed for Althena's attention, bickering to receive her blessings. Althena relinquished her power, placing the fate of her children in their own hands. And she assumed the form of a human being to live in the world she created. You mean Luna? So that's where... Oh, by the way, I have to... I just remembered that I said that... I misread a scene earlier and I was like, Does that mean Alex is adopted? No, Alex is not adopted. I'm an idiot. I misinterpreted what is happening. They're still referring to Luna when they were talking about... That when his parents were talking about that back then, about Null and and Luna, when they were brought in by uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Uh, Lake over here. Anyway, so yeah, Luna is the goddess Athena in human form, and that's why she Lake brought her to Alex's parents, which is probably for the best because Alex's parents are pretty good, cool, for the most part. Um, let's see. You mean Luna? Yes. How would you know something like that, old man? You're a liar! Who are you, old man? Tell us! Well, what, who do you think he is, Null? It's Dragon Ma He's Dragon Master Dine, isn't he? I know these things because I've kept a secret from you and the world. My real name is Dine. I never thought I'd speak my true name again, Alex. Not since I began my new life. I guess that's why he would, when you met him, he was talking with a different accent. It was probably because if he talked the way he normally did, he would definitely be caught up. People were like, hey, you're Dragon Master Dai. So probably for the best, that that's why he's been concealing his identity. Even, he even used, assumed a false accent and voice. Uh, and through his voice just to throw people off. No wonder he's so freaking strong. Not since I began my new life. Something went wrong when the goddess Althena began the transformation. She was in grave danger. And I had to use every bit of my power to help her, help her complete the change. Dine died on that day, and was reborn as Lake. I have never regretted what I did, Alex. Not until Galleon became the Magic Emperor. Oh. <sighs> that very hero you were following in your footsteps was there the whole time. Huh. It's very... Galleon is re using his power to re resurrect the goddess. Or even worse, he wants to turn himself into a god. And the only one who can stop him is you. Althena cannot help you, Alex. To defeat Galleon, you, you must rely on yourselves. Our fate is in our hands. The Dragon Master isn't just Althena's protector, Alex. But a protector of all that Althena has created. If your love for Luna and for the world Althena created is strong enough, Unsheath the sword standing in your midst and claim your destiny. Hmm. Is it time, Alex? Alex, is it time to go go all out? Oh wait, what's going on? Oh, I can control him. Whoa! Okay, sorry. You mean the dirty old sword that been that's been stuck in Dine's monument since forever? It may be old, but it's not it's not dirty, no. It's Althena's sword, the weapon I used long ago. Until the day when a man pure of spirit comes to claim it. Come on, Alex, give it a yank! I would... no. Let's see. So, what the goddess wanted us to learn is that we have to take care of ourselves. That's pretty obvious, even to a simpleton like myself. How nice of you to finally admit your disability, Kyle. Yes, I was just saying... Oh, forget it. 
Twisted, isn't it? The goddess became a human, and now Galleon be wants to become a god. Galleon is on the mother of all power trips. And we're the only ones who can pull his, pull his plug. Alex, it's time for you to become the Dragon Master. Oh, man. I believe the goddess Althena has given us control of our future. What happens to us and our world depends entirely on our own actions. We have to work together and show the goddess that her faith was not misplaced. You're right, Mia. We have to stick together. Whew. I don't think I'm, there's any reason for me to say, I can save. Oh, I can't save because Null is not in my party. I believe you are strong enough to claim the sword. You are ready to become the soldier that... <coughs> you are ready to become the soldier that fights for the people of this world. Alex, defend their lives and help them re to re realize their dreams. Alright. I'm going to keep talking to you. Alright, pull the sword out. Luna. Oh, man. It's time, Alex. <laughs> oh, snap. Alright, Dragon Master's back. He's ready. And this time I got every equipment. The sword. Now I have a chance actually have a ghost um ghost of a chance. Now I actually have a chance to win. Alex, you look great! And you look ten times stronger. No, make that a hundred times! So are we ready to beat the hell out of Galleon or what? Oh, yeah! We have to believe in the power of humanity. I have the power! <laughs> Excalibur! Alright, King Arthur, let's rock this. I mean, uh, uh, Alex. The power that Althena placed in every one of us. Castle Grayskull. <laughs> He-Man references. Oh my god. But how are we going to get to Althena's fortress? Not even the airship can fly high enough to reach it. It's impossible. The legend spoke of the Dragon Master commanding the flight of a great dragon. But there aren't any more dragons. <laughs> the dragon <coughs> the dra dragon Alex can ride is already already here. Isn't that right? No. What? What? Alex I understand now, Alex. After all this time, I finally know what, what I am. There's an incredible power within me, Alex, and it's burning to be released. Let's go to the fortress. So... <laughs> How do I look, Alex? Pretty cool, huh? You're definitely bigger. But since when do flying cat cats turn into dragons? This world is closer to extinction than I thought. Hurry, Null. Luna's waiting for us. Null is a dragon, guys. Never ending story. No. Oh my gosh. We're going to take this fight to the end. Galleon never understood why Althena gave up on her, her power. He never believed that humans could lead themselves.